A traditional ruler in the Tagua community, His Royal Highness Dominic Akpo and the Council Chairman Emmanuel Osega vowed to identify and apprehend those who set fire on a passenger farm. You'll recall that over 90 hectares of a highly bred mango farm belonging to former President Olusha Gompassanjo at Howe in Gura East local government area of Benue State were recently burnt by persons suspected to be uh, from neighboring communities. More in this report sent by a correspondent in Makadi Francis Ter. According to the farm manager Zubelu Muhammad, the incident which he said was the second attempt by the element was an unfortunate one. Yeah, the fire started up there as you can see. So around 2 p.m. in the afternoon, and there was this wide wind. So we, when we saw it, we tried to rush there. We called on the fire, fire service men to help us. But because of the wide wind, we couldn't control it. And before the arrival of the fire service men, a lot of damage has been done to the, to the farm. The special assistant to the former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, Hatom Halim, who was on ground to assess the level of damage on the mango farm, said the incident was premeditated over the issue of compensation. Land belongs to the Benue State Ministry of Agriculture. There is a C of O in the name of the Ministry of Agriculture. Um, we do not own this land. We are only tenants here. We have leased it uh, from the Benue State government. So all issues of compensation or otherwise, um, we believe are to be addressed by the state government. As I speak to you, uh, I was speaking to, I was spoke to people and uh, they've done all that. So I believe that with this, we're on top of it, we're on top of the situation. I have briefed the governor, even as I yesterday night we spoke. So I believe that uh, at the end, we will still reinvest because we are in, I'm in touch with the stakeholders, I'm in touch with all the traditionalists in the local government. And, uh, if it means for us to go and lie down for a former president who's respected all over the world for such a thing to happen, we do that. The land was developed during the time of Apeleku. The, 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 there was an agreement within the community and the government that the, the, the community gave the land for development. Development for them, not for the government. It's the people there and the person you intention too is to help the people there and it's helping them because you have up to they are paying about uh, two million every month to the community there who are working there the 109 hectares of land is said to be owned by the state government and leased to former president obasanjo while the issue of compensation was said to be that of the state government hello Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.